Hello everyone, this is Jerry Pacey, Product Manager at Pepperlone Fuchs for the Smart Runner. Today we want to discuss some quick tips and key features for the Smart Runner Matcher and Smart Runner Matcher Extended. Okay, so for this Smart Runner video, what we want to showcase is using the Smart Runner with a dark target. In this particular application, we want to replicate a rivet application with black rivets with a black background. So what we want to show here first is the Smart Runner connected up to Vision Configurator. So I have it connected up to my laptop and I have the target in place. So we want to make sure we have 2D and 3D selected. And then below you'll see we have Smart Runner. So once that, you click OK. And in a few seconds, the Smart Runner will be connected up to Vision Configurator. So this is the initial screen. The first thing we want to do is go to diagram view. So again, with the target in place, we want to hit get lines. And what this shows us is exactly what the smart runner is scanning. So then we want to turn off auto reset view and hit fit to line. This kind of zooms in on the target. So now if you look at the diagram view, you can see the line profile that we have for the rivet. So if you go to common and then illumination, it's on auto, so it adjusted it to 750, and that's got a pretty good line profile. But if we turn it down to, let's say 100 manually, and check the manual box, hit refresh here, and then get lines one more time, we have barely no profile, just to give you a feeling of it. And then if you actually look at the target where the laser line is, it's very, very faint. The intensity is low. So let's turn it up higher to maybe 1500 hit refresh again, and then immediately you'll see that the line intensity on the target is much more intense. So we'll hit get lines again, and now we have a very nice line profile, something we can work with. Okay, so now what we actually want to do, since we have a nice profile, is to do an actual teach. So we're going to move around the teach region just to make it more efficient, right over the area that we're interested in, so right over where the rivets are. And I'm going to zoom out some, do the same with the evaluation area. Since we're not going to be doing any movement here, it's really not necessary to make these boxes too large. Now we hit fit the line again. Looks pretty good to me. So we're going to hit teach. And now you should see on the actual sensor LED that under the result view, we have a green light. Then in the software, if I go to result view, hit start request. Again, another representation, you can see our quality good here is very high at 100. Our result is also good. Now that we have taught the line profile to the sensor, it can easily recognize a missing rivet. So if we move the target up and introduce the missing rivet, you'll quickly see in the software that the quality good has significantly decreased. The result is bad. And on the physical sensor, the result has a red LED. So the next thing we want to do is move the target back to its original taught position. So the next thing we want to show you is the image view. So what we'll do is hit stop request here and up top go to image view and then hit get image. So what this does is show you instead of a line diagram and diagram view you can actually get a picture utilizing the camera on the smart runner. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And have a nice day.